Hey, this is Jeff from Jeff Race to the Top. I'm at a new racetrack. It's called Big Diamond. It's about two hours out from the, where the, the shop is. But hey, I, I want to try different tracks. I want to keep this racing thing going, so I got to do what I got to do. I took the Honda here today. There was no real information on if I could ride the uh, or bring the, the V6 or the V6, the BMW here because it's a straight six. I don't know if they have like a V8 class. It doesn't look like it from the flyer. It looks like it's just a one. 100 lap race and, and and done pretty much so again like i said i brought the honda here let's see how i can do all right big diamond man that was an interesting race um i just wish they didn't wet the track so much it was like an ice skating ring in there um you're just sli slipping and sliding everywhere it was fun but man it was it was a couple of clincher butt moments right either way you put weeks and weeks of preparation into the car just for just to just to get taken out early it is what it is i do want to apologize i should apologize at the track at at the time i was just so tired i just wanted to get home to the silver i believe it's the number 34 car i want to say it was a hyundai but it had the komatsu uh stickers in the back of it but either way um, I'm pretty sure I'll have an opportunity to apologize. I, I think I seen him at Grandview once or twice, so it is what it is. Um, so the next race that I'm concentrating on is at uh Grandview, I believe it's Memorial Day weekend. I could be mistaken. Uh, I want to get the BMW ready, I need to get the light and flywheel in there along with the factory replacement clutch. I want to see how that uh, feels on the car, and, and it should help. It should improve, or at least according to the other guys. So we'll see how that goes. I don't know exactly how to use it around the track, so that's another thing to get used to. And also, I, I do want to upgrade the engine eventually. Need to save up a little bit of money, uh, some money for that. Take on some extra shifts, and then I'll throw it in there. I need to get the, along with the motor, I need to get the, uh, the, uh, the ECM. Everything should be plug and play. Uh, the ECM, I just got to get it uh, tuned so that it can run all, uh, uh, the uh, the 330 motor on the 325, which isn't that big of a deal. I've, those the, the ECMs are pretty pretty inexpensive. It's like 350, so that I can at least run the 330. The motor is going to be the big uh, chunk of change that I need to dole out. That's anywhere between a thousand to fifteen hundred bucks, depending on the mileage. But hey, I do what I got to do to get there to to be at least within the top five. I need to do that eventually, you know what I mean, put some money aside and, and, and get that done. Um, and also, if uh, I got to get the Honda fixed. I'm just going to throw in the driver's side knuckle, whatever's broken in that thing, um, get the, the rest of the roll cage uh, put in so that uh, I don't damage it too much and get down to one of the Delaware um, International Speedway, I guess, races. I just want to, like I said, support the entire racing cause as much as I can try to do even more races front wheel drive rear wheel drive and eventually get into the modifieds I might have an opportunity to drive one but I, oh man that's a that's a that's some really big boy pants to fill to, to to try it I'm a little hesitant as of right now it's it's a big leap forward but I don't know I don't know just just I guess a little bit a, a little We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But anyway, if you've watched this till the end, a like, share, and a subscribe will do me greatly. And I'll see you at the racetrack.